what's up y'all welcome back to my channel in today's video we just doing a quick little story time about how my car got broken into during my birthday weekend i did like a poll on instagram and i asked everybody if they wanted me to keep this in the vlog or do a separate story time on it and y'all voted for a separate story time so here it is make sure that you like comment and subscribe to the video and you know leave some comments some suggestions to what my next video should be and stay tuned if you want to hear about this little incident that happened the incident happened on saturday september 5th and basically this day i really only had one thing planned which was to go to have like a little go to a day party um that we was gonna meet up for at 6 p.m like we was gonna go to the location at 6. i stayed in the hotel room um thursday through saturday and saturday when i checked out after i checked out the hotel room which was around like 11 o'clock in the morning i went to cumberland mall because sunday the next day i was having like a small get together for my son because it was his birthday following my birthday so yeah my birthday is september 4th and his birthday is september 7th after i checked out of my hotel i went to cumberland mall to like shop around and get my son a few things for his little party leave the party i mean leave i still leave the party leave cumberland mall to go to my friend's apartment going to my friend's apartment because they live literally like two minutes away from the place that the day party is at so it wouldn't have taken me so long like i didn't have to drive all the way back to my mom's house and then drive all the way back up there and stuff like that it was right there so i'm going to my friend's apartment um, and I got there around like three o'clock basically. So this issue has to happen between three to five because I got there at three, chilled, you know, just kind of vibed or whatever until it was time for me to start getting ready to go to the day party. So around like five o'clock ish, five thirty, I go down. Um, I leave the apartment to go down to my car to get my stuff. So the thing about the car situation, so when I got to the apartment complex, I couldn't park in the original guest parking that they have for their residents because they have taken it away because a lot of people were using it for free parking and they now have a thing where you have to pay $35 a week $35 a week to have guest parking and I was only there for the day that was dead I basically had to park the car on the street like on the side of the street instead of in the parking garage which is where the guest parking was at so I parked the car there and I basically had my clothes that I was gonna wear like that you know for the little occasion and stuff packed in my bag I had like a black tote bag with me and I had those clothes packed in there my flat iron just like my personal items and stuff like that packed in that bag and then I had all the cars and things that I had bought for him in the trunk and then I put those in the trunk when I left the mall or whatever so those were in the trunk and then my stuff I just put it on the passenger seat floor thinking like my job is three o'clock broad daylight it's multiple people outside so when I pulled up to the apartment complex it's a man that's there's it's like houses around it as well there's a man in his yard there's multiple people like walking around. It's just like, I'm not thinking like, oh, somebody's bold enough to break into a car with this many eyes around and it's this bright outside. I really didn't have nothing in the car because it was a rental car. I only had my personal things that were in that black bag and the stuff that I bought for my son for his birthday or whatever. So I go inside the apartment, chill, catch the vibe. You know, just kind of relax because it's been a long weekend. I've been drinking and stuff. You know, like I'm trying to chill myself out before we go back out again. So come back down around 5.30 to get my clothes and things so that I can get ready to go out and meet them at the place. Mind you, the place is two minutes away from my friend's apartment. So I didn't have to, you know, rush or anything, which was the whole purpose of me going there. I come down and this is where this day just the events turn left i come downstairs and i'm walking to the car and i'm just like lord please do not let this car be broken into like please don't let the car be broken into and 
I see glass shatter. I'm like, fuck, the car is broken into. I go, I walk around the car and I look at everything to kind of just see if anything was damaged on the outside of the car other than that window. And then I look inside the window and I see like all of my stuff is gone. So the first thing that I did is check the trunk and I'm like, fuck, I really hope they didn't take cars and stuff. So I check in the trunk, all of the stuff is gone, y'all. All the stuff is gone. And I'm like, I know I'm not getting this back because it's I, the, the receipt was still in the bags. Like I just left the store with the stuff. So I'm definitely thinking like, I'm not getting that back. Like it's gone. And they took my flat iron, my heels, all the clothes. So basically I was left with what I had on and I had on like this little romper. Okay, so I called the police and you know, so I can file the police report and things like that. And I'm just kind of at this point asking around, looking around like, okay, what? Because the, the man was still out there. So the man who was originally out there when I first pulled up, he was still out there working on his yard. So I'm like, so you didn't hear nothing. You didn't see nobody. So I walk over to his yard and I'm like asking him questions like, hey, my car was just broken into. Did you hear any shattering of glass? Did you see anybody near or anything like that so he was like um i went into my house for a little bit but i did see a black guy in dark jeans and a dark shirt walk over there and he walked over there and checked and didn't see nobody like he checked on the roads and stuff where the car was parked and he didn't see nobody so um he left and then went back into his house or whatever house and he said that they must have circled around and seen him go back into the house and that's when they came and broke into the car. Okay, cool. And I asked him, I'm like, so, well, do you know anybody over here that got cameras? And so he basically tells me, like, the neighbors that have cameras. And I'm leaving notes on their houses and things, knocking on the door, trying to get some information about it. And then I'm, like, just going from neighbor to neighbor, basically asking them, hey, do you have a camera? Can, you know, can I look at the footage or something my car is working into? Basically telling them the situation. The police got there at like 10 o'clock at night, y'all. It took them five hours to get there. It took them five hours to get there. Once the police officer got there, he took the fingerprints, checked everything out, got my statement, you know, gave me the police report, blah, 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 and he left. And so I left to go back upstairs to get my wallet and things like that so that I could leave. Because at this point, I was not about to go out and I wasn't gonna leave my car um, there, even though it wasn't nothing for nobody to steal out of it because everything was gone. But I come down to the car and as I'm walking and getting into the car, y'all, I see there's like a white plastic bag sitting in the passenger seat. And I noticed like the bag is, so the, the one of the places that I had went into when I bought Carson stuff was foot action. So that was the bag. So I opened, it's tied. The bag is tied in a knot. So I opened the bag up and it's my personal things like it was like my the outfit that i had wore for my birthday a few more outfits that i had um my makeup they were turned like my toothbrush which i threw away but you know they returned like pretty much my personal item my car keys and things like because they also had took my car keys like when i say it took everything i'm talking about my actual car keys for my car back home like so I'm thinking also, that's why I was panicking because I'm like, dang, I have to go to Texas. My car's sitting at the airport. I'm not going to be able to get into it or anything. Thankfully, this thief had some type of morals and brought the stuff back. But, you know, I'm thinking like they have to be targeting the area because who returns stuff? I've never, ever heard of anybody breaking into a car, stealing all the stuff and then returning some things back. They didn't return my heels. They didn't return like my flat iron. And a few other things and stuff like that. Definitely didn't return the stuff that I bought for cars. So I already know they wasn't returning that. It was brand new in the bags with the receipt. So I already knew they wasn't returning that to me. But I'm, I'm still in shock. I'm like, this is crazy. Like, I, I'm just like, I've never, ever, ever heard of anybody returning it. So that got me thinking like, okay, it definitely got to be somebody that live over here. Because if it's a homeless person... To be honest, they just gonna drop the stuff off that they don't need on the street and keep it moving. They're not thinking about returning it back to the place. Like, so it just, it is still kind of, the investigation is still going on. The police have contacted me afterwards and did let me know that 
the fingerprint basically had no value like they didn't find anything on the fingerprint but they're trying to get in contact with the video guys so hopefully i can get some information about it but i already know how the city is when it comes to stuff like this like it's not gonna get resolved and i'm not really counting on it to get resolved like that but as far as like with the rental car uh the rental car i didn't get the little ins the damage thing like the little insurance for the car so basically i have to pay out of pocket for the window and that's just a whole nother so that's the situation and i honestly am just trying to have like a positive well i was trying <laughs> to have like a positive perspective on the entire situation the entire time because you just never know what could happen and you never know the reasoning of why things happen and everything happened for a reason but it was kind of you know because it was my birthday and i'm just like but we did end up going out the next night and still having fun so it is what it is that is basically what happened y'all so let me just tell y'all what i think who i think did it i think the man that was working on his shit on his yard when i pulled up i think he was a thief because he literally had sight to everything and he saw when i pulled in he could have seen when i you know he saw when i got out he could have been watching me or whatever and he could have been watching when the police left like when the police got there who's gonna wait five hours who's gonna wait around five hours to return return something so um that's what i think or y'all think it was a homeless man or somebody else maybe that live over there leave a comment below y'all if y'all think it was what i think and that it was the man who was working on his house when i first pulled up or if you think it was a homeless man or somebody else or whatever but either way it go, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the video. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope y'all enjoy. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Hopefully, y'all, I'm going to have my hair done in the next video. But baby girl has been lazy and it's just not, it's not going right now. But anyways, again, thank y'all so much. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. I know y'all hear Carson calling my name anyways, so... Yeah.